I think this pandemic has brought a lot of potential things to light, um, along with thinking about relationships, social, political um, issues. There's a, been a lot of things that we have been seeing and noticing during this pandemic. And one of the hopes that I have in this that I hope that we all are learning is understanding ourselves a little bit better. We've we've hopefully had some time to understand what our reactions are to the pandemic, how easy or hard some of these things might have been. Um, also to recognize like what is it that we're still grateful for grateful for or able to appreciate. A lot of people that I've talked to have become much more appreciative of the small things that exist in our lives that we get to enjoy. Some examples can be, you know, having a phone conversation, having a good meal, a homemade meal. Um, people are experiencing their homes in a really different way than they ever have before. Prior to the pandemic, I often would hear, you know, I feel like my apartment or home is just a place where I lay my head. I really don't spend time there. And I don't know what value I have in spending so much money for a home that I don't spend a lot of time in. It's been really interesting to hear and understand for a lot of people spending time in their home and really being able to live in it, what that experience has been. Is there anything that you really enjoy or like? What are the experiences that you have been able to enjoy and be able to experience if it's, you know, watching a YouTube video, a podcast, reading, cooking, learning to bake, exercising. The context of all of these things feels really different during the pandemic, but hopefully are opening our eyes to what it is that we can still appreciate, what we can still do. Yes, it's limited um, and it's changed, but on the other side of it, when we start engaging in socializing, going back to the workplaces, something for us to hold on to is a lot of the experiences that we maybe took for granted, um, we can hopefully hold in a different place and really enjoy them. Um, an example is, you know, commuting to work. Oftentimes you're surrounded by strangers and it can be some place that could feel sometimes a little crowded and before the pandemic, I think could even feel like an inconvenience or feel something that could make you feel uncomfortable. You know, on the other side of things, it could be something that you get to appreciate that there are other people around you that are using the same form of transportation or that you're in a park and you get to see other people or that you're able to have a simple conversation or to say hello or see somebody's face. Um, it will be really interesting to think about and see um, once things start opening up a little bit more and we start re-engaging in the world closer to what maybe it was like before COVID, it will be really interesting to see what it is that we will continue to appreciate and see in a new light. Um, because those things, I think, on the other end still might be difficult to figure out until we get there.